Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we'll discuss about the topic Variance Report. <coughs> um, friends, this is a very important topic with respect to project management and uh, PMI PIMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge. This is a very important topic and we will see this topic in detail with respect to project management. That how, what is the importance of Variance Report with respect to project management. Um, friend, if you are studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP, uh, so friend, this is an important topic and you will see this topic in the exam. Uh, friend, also if you are already working as a professional project manager and uh, you are already implementing projects, so this is an important topic for you because you must know that what is the, what is various report in project management and what is its importance in the implementation of projects so friend uh, uh, first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start variance report first of all friend uh, try to understand that uh, we will see this topic with respect to project management variance report what does it mean by variance report friend Variance report is a document that compares plan outcome with the actual outcome. In other words, a variance report compares what was supposed to happen with what actually happened. Usually variance report are used to analyze the difference between budgets and actual performance. See friend here. Friend, what is the purpose of what is variance report actually? For example, for example, you are implementing an e-commerce solution for a customer and uh, you were thinking that the software development will complete in for example in 30 days the software development will complete okay this is your planned uh, duration this was your planned duration that within 30 days the software development will complete now after a few days you will analyze that in actual the software development was completed in 50 days so that means f uh, f uh, that means 30 minus uh, 50 that means minus 20 so uh, that means there is a difference of 20 days 20 days you are basically over basically uh, utilize so as per the plan so various report basically tells you that friend first thing you have analyzed you have target you have plan that uh, this is your plan duration for example this is your plan for example you plan that um, uh, you plan that this particular task of pr project will complete with $500 this is your planned uh, cost okay and after some time when you uh, recognize you analyze that in actual this particular task was completed in $700 that means that you have uh, spent $200 more so basically friend when we are using the various report or various analysis this gives you the insight that actual performance of your work either you are going good either you are not going good so based on the various report it can give you an insight it can give you the analysis that either you are going properly or you are not going properly so friend various report basically tells you the uh, difference between the planned uh, planned work either in terms of time and cost and the actual uh, actual performance actually what what was happened like for example you have planned that for uh, take it as a just simple example uh, you have uh, planned that uh, for example you have to meet your relative and you have planned that you have to go from location A to location B and you are expecting uh, you have planned that within one hour you will reach there okay however uh, this was your planned uh, duration that within one hour you will complete you will reach to your uh, relative okay uh, however when you start moving from the location a there was some problem in the traffic traffic jam etc etc so due to that reason you reach there in two hours for example so that means you have used one hour more so that means it is not good now why because you have utilized one uh, one hour more ha similarly take the same example that you have planned that within one hour you will reach and you reach in 30 minutes why because the traffic was not there 
so you uh, utilize 30 uh, you have uh, 30 minutes uh, time already uh, remaining within that time you reach there so that means that your performance was good so friend various report basically tells you that what actually you have planned in terms of time and cost and what actually happened in terms of time and cost and when you subtract both these things like the planned time minus the actual time or planned cost minus the actual cost you will get the insight you will get the actual performance you will get the insight about actually what happened so basically uh, based on the venice report friend you can you can uh, you can evaluate the performance of a project like for example uh, you have planned that e-commerce e solution project should have to be completed within four months however the uh, and the e-commerce solution project was completed within uh, three months so that means you have completed one month ahead so that means it it is very good the implementation of project in terms of time and uh, we have to see in the time uh, and cost as well so that means in terms of time at least the project was very good because you were one month ahead uh, you have completed uh, the project so basically friend remember one thing various report means that the work which you have planned in terms of time and cost and what actually happened in terms of time and cost so when you subtract the plan minus actual you will get the variance okay so that is called as the concept of venice report friend now uh, friend uh, how to write the venice report what is the criteria to write the venice report uh, normally first of all tell me uh, i can tell you sir, friend there are few tools are available like you can use microsoft project project servers like these sorts of tools are already available if you are in project management so by using these tools software tools you can easily generate the venice report however if you want to um, uh, if you want to write a venice report in terms of uh, so microsoft word so that you can submit it to your customer or your, your senior management you can write it in the microsoft word as well so what will be the criteria how we'll write the uh, various reports first of all friend you have to collect the data okay collect the data data means that what actually was planned and what actually happened what is the planned value and what is the actual value and then you can use the microsoft excel as well and uh, you can say uh, in one column you can put the planned value in the second column you can put the actual value and third column you can use the plan minus actual and then uh, you can get the in the third column you can get the variance and then you can explain the variance that what is actually variance why it happens like either you will get in the minus value either you will get in the positive value if you are ahead like you have as per the plan you have completed earlier so that means it is good if you have uh, actual uh, is more than the planned value so that means it is not good in terms of time and cost simple criteria is that friend whenever you are writing the uh, various report uh, you can use the microsoft excel you need the data data means that the planned data planned data means that for example you have planned that within four months you will complete the project of e-commerce solution for example this, uh, this is the planned value in actual what happened in actual the project was completed in five, five months so this is the actual so in one column you can put the four months in the second column put the five months and four minus five it will become plus one so that means you have utilized one month uh, one month more as per the uh, plan value that is obviously not good uh, friend what is the use of venice report how we can where we can use the venice report friend first of all project scheduling you can use the venice report and to present it to your senior management with respect to uh, project scheduling budgeting sales trend uh, spending etc so there are so many uh, areas in which the venice report friend can be used okay basically main purpose is that friend venice report the main purpose is that whenever you have to uh, either you want to calculate uh, either you want to evaluate the performance of a project uh, either you want to monitor or control your project 
either you want to give the insight about the performance of your project so you can use the uh, various report secondly friend uh, just I can give you a very uh, simple example of various report here friend uh, like for example this is the original budget and the revised budget and the actual uh, was 90 and the variance is 0 like for example the budget was actual plan was 90 actual was 90 and variance is 0 uh, similarly friend if we see from here the revised budget is 900 and uh, the actual was 990 so 900 minus 990 actual minus budgeted sorry actual minus budgeted so 990 minus 900 it will become 90 okay so in that way friend when you uh, subtract the values you will get the uh, uh, variance like actual minus uh, actual minus uh, the plan similarly if we talk about here 285 minus 250 it will become the variance will become 35 by 285 minus 250 okay so it will be 35 uh, so friend uh, this is a very simple example of variance report you can use microsoft excel you can use uh, uh, ms project uh, and project server so these sorts of tool can be used to generate the variance report so friend uh, thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you